while his team continues to face serious legal challenges and domestic and foreign policy issues keep spiraling, President Donald Trump keeps desperately trying to change the subject. This Wednesday at the Army tank plant in Lima, Ohio, Trump launched into yet another angry tirade about former Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona, who died last year from brain cancer. He blasted the fallen political figure as supposedly trafficking in falsehoods while propping himself up as some kind of saint for keeping the bare minimum associated with McCain's funeral on track. That's right, in the hands of Donald Trump, John McCain's funeral is now a political hot potato that he should get credit for. He told the crowd colon. A lot of people are asking because they love me and they ask me about a man named John McCain, so I have to be honest, I've never liked him much, hasn't been for me. I really probably never will. Before going any further, why on earth is this what's on the top of the president's agenda? Just last week, 50 people were killed by a white nationalist terrorist in New Zealand operating under allegiance to ideologies spread across the world, and Trump says that white nationalism is probably not a rising threat. Dot, but a war hero who died more than six months ago? To Trump, he's a threat. Trump continued, John McCain received a fake and phony dossier, did you hear about the dossier? It was paid for by crooked Hillary Clinton, and John McCain got it, and what did he do? He didn't call me, he turned it over to the FBI hoping to put me in jeopardy. At least he's got his story at least a little more straight this time. Trump claimed in recent days that McCain shared the infamous dossier compiled by former British spy Christopher Steele with the media in an effort to get it published before the 2016 elections, despite the fact that he didn't get it until after the election and never shared it with the media. The Steele dossier chronicles allegations of Trump team ties to Russia. Does Trump seriously think that McCain should have run the issue by him before he shared info with federal authorities about an apparent wide ranging foreign effort to infiltrate the American electoral system? Does he realize he's operating in the real world and not his fantasies where he's a mob boss people have to look out for and up to? That's really about the only response available to the outlandish suggestion that a U.S. senator should have asked a player in a possible global conspiracy if it was all right with them to alert authorities. Trump went on, whining about McCain's refusal to go along with the GOP's attempt to ram health care reform through Congress and his support of military intervention in the Middle East, which apparently McCain is personally responsible for or something. Trump asserted he gave him the kind of funeral that he wanted, although even as he noted right then and there, it was his responsibility to sign off on the state funeral arrangements since he's president. In other words, Trump apparently wants us to thank him for not making a scene when it came time for McCain to be buried. The egotism just never ends with him.